A glimpse of the world as it moves in milliseconds, made visible by one of the world's fastest film cameras. And here are the Englishmen who made the pictures, the slow-mo guys, Gavin Free and Dan Grutchie. Their videos on YouTube have had more than 49 million hits. <laughs> we decided to do this slow motion show because I like looking at the world in slow motion. It's interesting to see the world at a different speed. Yeah. Everything and looks better in slow motion. Yeah, for it? some reason, you can make anything look good in slow-mo. Even the most you know, inane stuff looks actually quite good. A row of townhouses near Oxford. A little more than a year ago, the two Englishmen came up with the idea for their YouTube videos. Gavin Free works for a company that leases slow motion cameras. Whenever one of these special 100,000 euro cameras weren't in use, the two of them played around with it. I like to just add a bit of personality to the videos. Um, there's a lot of slow-mo that was already on YouTube where it's just sort of a shot. There's not really much context to it, though. You, you don't really know, like, the setup or where they were or why they were doing it. So we just decided to actually present along with the slow-mo just to make it more interesting and quite funny as well. The slow-mo guys have already posted 49 videos on their own YouTube channel. Today, they're making the 50th. Slow motion cameras require lots of light, so they have to hurry before the sun sets. They have no script, just a rough concept. The images they see in the camera determine the further course of the video. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is that full speed? Yeah. It looks, it's still really fast. Jeez, that's really fast, isn't it? They're not satisfied yet. The experiment continues. To slow things down further, they fill the balloons with more water and set the camera to take more pictures, 300 times more than a normal video camera. two balloons popped there, so that was a bit of a failure. But it was actually quite interesting to see why it failed, because I've never seen a pellet hit a balloon and not pop it before. So it's quite interesting to see it just bounce off. And uh, we've got another experiment out of it in that Dan is now going to jump through the air and try and shoot it um, mid-air. But other videos on the internet prove you don't need an expensive special camera for all slow motion films. Special software can slow a normal video down, turning it into slow motion. The effects are achieved because the software can interpolate the missing images. That works well with the moving human body. But with explosions, the special camera is clearly advantageous. Unfortunately, it costs about 3,000 euros a day to rent the camera and its cameraman. That's why it's such a privilege for the slow-mo guys to be able to test their ideas with no financial pressure, even if some of the desired effects don't work out. We get quite a lot of requests from people emailing in or commenting on our videos saying, oh, you should do this in slow-mo, you should do that, or, oh, that was really cool, but try this next time. And we, we do take uh, some of the ideas and put them into practice. Our most that. request ones are definitely popcorn and paintballs, which we are going to do at some point yeah, to, we'll get uh, to, it, to please the audience. Yeah. But first, they want to check off all the ideas on their own list. And that list is expanding faster than they can film. <laughs> 